What's up guys, it's Naomi, and today we're doing a thrift to the thrift. That is a tongue twister. I just finished watching a bunch of thrift shopping vlogs. Everyone does their intro in a car, which is why I decided I'd try it, even though the sun just keeps getting in the way. This is a bad idea. Um, but we're gonna go into Talese in Mississauga. I feel like all the employees know me by now because I'm always there. And this store just never fails. I love it, it's so clean and organized. So let's see what we can find today. Put your love on me, cause I won't let you down, I won't let you down, and we'll be singing. Girl, put your love on me, I feel it all around, I feel it all around, and we'll be singing. So I made it into the one, please. Bill, the rest the one, thank you. All right guys, so I made it into Talese and of course the first section I went to is the jackets and coats because I always find such great things. I also got here and found out there's a sale so when you spend $100 or more you get 50% off your entire purchase. Girl, I lose myself up in those So I love searching like the extra large section first because I'm obsessed with oversized stuff and I found this awesome Tommy Hilfiger jacket. It's an extra large, so definitely gonna have a nice oversized fit. So it has like the little T on the pockets, and then the back has that label there for $20. So I found this light blue like Lacoste windbreaker, but I'm like 90% sure it's fake. <laughs> like look at the tags. It's also a bit dirty, so that's a pass. Jackpot found a great condition dark Levi's denim jacket for $24.99. Hey, fun fact, I used to play for this soccer club for like 10 years of my life. Maybe I should buy this and pretend I'm still athletic and stuff. I'm not. Throwback over here, back in like high school, maybe grade nine and 10, these were the thing to have, these ugly TNA purses. And I'm surprised it's actually going for so much like seven, eight years later. I'm seriously considering buying this for Christmas next year. I feel like you could dress it up Maybe even add some DIY stuff for an ugly Christmas sweater party. So I just spent like the last five minutes trying to figure out what this shirt is supposed to mean, what it's supposed to represent, what it's supposed to be. If anyone knows, uh, want to let me know? <laughs> it's literally just like Toronto. Canadian polar bear in snowstorm. Like, what? Guys, you know the motto, live, love, laugh? That's so like 10 years ago. Now it's all about life, love, kicks, bro. Life, love, kicks. Goes to Ireland once, wants to buy this Guinness shirt. But actually the reason why is look at the back. Caution, may cause an Irish accent. <laughs> I wish I could do an Irish accent. That's my best Irish accent for you, yeah? Shall I get this for St. Paddy's Day? It's coming up. Wow, I do not know accent that was that was not close to Irish it wasn't even British it was just horrible horrible accent so does the Royal Caribbean cruise ship have a university and nobody told me about it the cart is getting a bit full so I think I might uh, head to the fitting room so we made it into the change rooms there's a nine item limit so this big pile of clothes is only nine of the I don't even know how many items I grabbed but let's try some stuff on and see how it looks all right so I'm definitely excited to try on the denim jackets first the Tommy Hilfiger one that I found and then what was the other one? Oh yeah the Levi's one and I also got like a no-name baggy one with the zipper in the front which I think will look really cute so let's see how these look so we have the first denim jacket on. This is the Tommy Hilfiger one. I actually really like it. Next up we have this Levi. Oh, every time I try to vlog, they make these announcements. All right, so next we have this Levi's dark denim jacket. Amazing quality, like it pretty much looks brand new. It's honestly a perfect fit. All right, so this is like the no name. Well, it actually does have a name. GJ, but never heard of that in my life. It sounds like someone's nickname, but it's actually the brand and it's trademarked guys um, But yeah, it kind of has like a grungy vintage 90s look to it So I'm hoping it looks just as good on person like it does on this hanger. So GJ looks like a thumbs up. I really like the fit 
so I loved all denim jackets. I got three, but honestly, I shouldn't go home with three new denim jackets when I already have so many. I feel like I have to choose between the three. Oh no. This is why I shouldn't thrift shop alone. I need someone to talk some sense into me and help me make and help me make decisions. But damn it, this will only be $5. How can I say no to a $5 vintage denim jacket? No, I saw the front and I was like, ooh, that's different. Like, looks stylish, but I feel like I'm trying to hide a pregnancy or something like that. <laughs> Definitely not. Like, I'm not Kylie Jenner, so no need for that. Honestly, there's no better feeling than finding an item while thrift shopping that you've been eyeing, like, in a store or you've had on your mind. Like, this maroon suede jacket. I was actually going to buy one from, like, the Bay. I think the brand was Vero Moda, and it was, like, $60, but I talked myself out of it. And now I just found one that's so similar for, it's only going to be, like, $6.50. I look like I'm ready for Christmas with this green shirt that I'm wearing underneath it. But yeah, the fit is really nice. I mean, I'd prefer if it was longer because it is a bit cropped, but for $6.50, can't go wrong. That is how I'm justifying everything. Like, oh, it's so cheap, you can't go wrong. I mean, you can, but. Hey, it's me, Mario. <laughs> Whoever's in the change room beside me is probably like, this girl is yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like a kid's t-shirt. I kind of randomly found it in the women's sweater section. Um, I don't know, do you think I could pull off this graphic tee or do I look like, I don't know, a try hard. <laughs> Next we have this Zara knit. So basic, $6.99, so $3.50. And it's just very lightweight, flowy, breezy, airy, baggy, hides my <laughs> wintertime stomach just the way I like it. All right. So I got a second batch of things. Let's see how this goes. Look guys, I found a champion sweater from South Carolina. So this was found in the men's section. That's only $6.99, so it'll be $3.50. And I love crewnecks like this. And when I do travel, I actually get stuff like this. Like I have one from uh, Dublin, Galway, Newport Beach in California. So why not add North Carolina to my collection? Why not? Or South Carolina, my bad. Same thing, right? Yeah, I know it's nowhere close to being the same thing, but I just suck at US geography. This is just like a simple crop top from Forever 21, which will come out to be $3. And it's actually a really great knit. Like, I wish I could properly explain, but it's like a thicker cotton, not like one of those thin flimsy ones. So I could feel the quality in it, and I really like the color and the print. So I found this really soft like maroon t-shirt um, from Wilford, so it's an Aritzia brand, and it would probably cost like $30, but it's only gonna be five. Uh, it's a large, so it's very like deep cut, um, but I think if I wear it with a bralette, it will be fine. Like right now my bra is kind of a bralette, so still gonna get it, I think. This is a good trip. 10 out of 10 would come again. Let you know your Obviously, I'm always at the same store. So I just checked out. Look at this massive bag. It is the size of me. And all of this stuff only cost $61. So the total was $120, but today they had a promotion, so 50% off if you spend over $50. Or no, 50% off if you spend over $100. Uh, so amazing, amazing deals. Yeah. 